Good day, my dear grade 11 student. I'm teacher Riza, your general mathematics teacher. Our topic for today is solving exponential equations and inequalities. With learning competency, solves exponential equations and inequalities. Now, we're going to solve an exponential equation. First, let us know what is one-to-one -one property of an exponential function. If x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2, then b raised to x sub 1 is not equal to b raised to x sub 2. Conversely, if b raised to x sub 1 is equal to b raised to x sub 2, then x sub 1 is equal to x sub 2. Now, let's try to solve the equation for raised to x minus 1 is equal to 16. So we have 4 raised to x minus 1 is equal to 16. Write both sides with 4 as the base. So we're going to change 16 to the base 4 which is equal to 4 squared. So we have now 4 raised to x minus 1 is equal to 4 squared. Since the base is equal to 4, get the exponential equation x minus 1 is equal to 2. Solve for x. So we have now x is equal to 2 plus 1. So therefore, x now is equal to 3. Alternate solution for that, given 4 raised to x minus 1 is equal to 16, we're going to write both sides with 2 as the base because 4 and 16 can be changed to the base 2 where in 4 is 2 squared then raised to x minus 1 and 16 is 2 raised to 4 so we have now 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 4 which is the exponential equation then solving now so we have 2x minus 2 is equal to 4 then we have now 2x is equal to 6 and dividing both sides by 2 to get the value of x so we have now x is equal to 3 which is the same answer with the first solution next Number 2, solve for the equation 125 raised to x minus 1 is equal to 25 raised to x plus 3. So we're going now to change 125 and 25 to the base of 5. So 125 is the same as 5 cubed raised to x minus 1 is equal to 5 squared for 25 raised to x plus 3. Since the base is equal, so we can get now the exponential equation, which is 3 times x minus 1 is equal to 2 times x plus 3. Multiplying, so we have now 3x minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 6. Combining like terms, so we have now 3x minus 2x is equal to 6 plus 3. Solving for x, so we have now x is equal to 9. For number 3, solve for the equation 9 raised to x squared is equal to 3 raised to x plus 3. Change 9 to the base 3. So we have 
3 squared raised to x squared is equal to 3 raised to x plus 3. Since the base are equal, so we have now the exponential equation 2 times x squared is equal to x plus 3. Or we have 2x squared is equal to x plus 3. Since this is a quadratic equation, we're going now to equate that into zero. So we have 2x squared minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. Factoring the quadratic equation, so we have now the factor 2x minus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. Equate both factors into 0, so we have 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. Get now the value of x, so we have now x is equal to 3 half and x is equal to negative 1. Now, how to solve an exponential inequalities? First, let us know the property of an exponential inequalities. If b is greater than 1, then the exponential function y is equal to base raised to x is increasing for all x. This means that b raised to x is less than b raised to y, if and only if x is less than y. If the base is greater than 0 but less than 1, then the exponential function y is equal to b raised to x is decreasing for all x. This means that b raised to x is greater than b raised to y if and only if x is less than y. For number 4, we're going to solve the inequality 3 raised to x is less than 9 raised to x minus 2. Both 9 and 3 can be written using 3 as the base. So we have 3 raised to x is less than 3 squared times x minus 2. So we have now 3 raised to x is less than 3 raised to 2x minus 4. Since the base is 3, which is greater than 1, then this equality is equivalent to x is less than 2x minus 4. The direction of the inequality is retained. So we have now 4 is less than 2x minus x. To get the value of x, so we have 4 is less than x or x is greater than 4. The solution set to the inequality is x is an element of real numbers such that x is greater than 4. For number 5, solve the inequality 1 over 10 raised to x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 1 over 100 raised to 3x. So we have now 1 over 10 raised to x plus 5 is less than or equal to 1 over 10 which is the same as 1 over 100 or 1 over 10 squared raised to 3x. So we have now 1 over 10 raised to x plus 5 is less than or equal to 1 over 10 raised to 6x. Since 1 over 10 is less than 1, then we're going to interchange the inequality sign to greater than or equal. So we have now x plus 5 is less than or equal to 6x. 
or 5 is less than equal to 6x minus 6. So we have 5 is less than or equal to 5x. Solving for x, dividing both sides by 5, so we have now 1 is greater than or equal to x, or x is less than or equal to or x is greater than or equal to 1. Thus, the solution set is x is an element of real number such that x is greater than or equal to 1. For your activity, you're going to solve for x in each of the following equations and inequalities. For number 1, 16 raised to 2x minus 3 is equal to 4 raised to x plus 2. Number 2, 1 over 2 raised to 2x is equal to 2 raised to 3 minus x. Remember that 1 half is the same as 2 raised to negative 1. For number 3, 4 raised to 2x plus 7 is less than or equal to 32 raised to 2x minus 3. Number 4, 4 raised to 3x plus 2 is less than 64. Number 5, 7 raised to x plus 4 is equal to 49 raised to 2x minus 1. Number 6, 4 raised to x plus 2 is equal to 8 raised to 2x. Number 7, 2 raised to or 2 over 3 raised to 5x plus 2 is equal to 3 half raised to 2x. And that's all for today's lesson with my dear grade 11s. This is again Teacher Riza or Mom Rice saying thank you. And the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. Goodbye.